650, 650, come on. Just end, just end. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy one of a kind, or Zach here. Um, today's video is a little bit different than the boat series. Um, as you guys can tell, we got a brand new car behind us. Well, somewhat brand new, it's from 2002. So it's almost as old as me. And uh, yeah, this, this car was an auction car from Copart. It's gonna be the main car towing all of our project boats, guys, um, throughout the YouTube video and the channel, I guess. So I wanted to show you guys, but um, before we go and do review the car, let's show you guys how I got the car. Alrighty guys, so here's the truck. Um, first thing we can see is it does have a salvage rebuildable title, which means that it can be rebuildable and it can be converted to a clean title. Um, the reason for that is the side door damage and the front bumper cover is missing with a little bit of a dent in the front, but nothing that really scares me too much. I mean, it looks to be fine and it looks like the bumpers in the back of the picture. So, I mean, the, the truck overall looks really, really good. I mean, other than those like two front things, I mean, the door open scares me a little bit, but I mean, I don't know. So, I mean, I think this might be a good gamble for the right price. I mean, it's a 4.2 liter, six cylinder, which is nice. It's gonna have some power. I mean, no engine lights, which is nice. Um, other than that front bumper cover missing, I mean, this, this truck looks really, really good. Interior looks like it was well-maintained. I mean, it looks really, really good, guys. And I don't know, it's listed as a run and drive. It's being sold by Geico. Um, so usually the insurance cars are a little bit better the options because they're just, you know, there for an accident, not because the engine's about to catch on fire. So I don't know, I think this is gonna be a good one to maybe take a gamble on, guys. I mean, the bid's, you know, currently at a uh, reasonable price, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I think this might be a, a good truck to go for. Alrighty, guys, so after taking a look at the truck, um, truck, SUV, car, whatever you guys wanna call it, um it's a very good looking vehicle um now i know what you guys are probably thinking it's like well it's been in a previous accident that has damage to it it has 176,000 miles i mean all valid questions but the main purpose of this truck slash whatever you guys want to call i'm gonna call i just like to call it a truck um it's really just gonna be for work guys i needed to tow my boat i needed to get future projects and i really just needed to, to help me out with the stuff that my car can't do all right good morning guys it's the uh the next morning it's currently 9 40 in the morning auction starts at 10 a.m so i'm just getting ready making sure everything's good and um yeah let me show you guys so auction starts in 15 minutes and we got about 47 minutes till our truck pops up now one thing that does suck is that the bid is at 175 currently so hopefully that doesn't get ran up too much i'm fingers crossed because if it goes too much out of my price range, I'm just not I'm not really gonna buy it because it, it is a little bit, every every vehicle's a gamble, but I don't wanna overpay for something that's a gamble. Alrighty guys, so the auction, as you guys can tell, is three minutes away. Um, I'm extremely nervous, uh, I really want this truck. And um, yeah, so just to make sure my bidding was all good, I already put a bid of 200 on it and I got a bid, it went to 225. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait to see, you know, when the lock comes up and see what I can do with it. Um, and we'll see, we'll see. So, fingers crossed we get this truck. I don't wanna overpay for it. I don't want it to get run up. So, fingers crossed we're two lots away from this bad boy. Oh man. All right guys, we're next. We are next. I'm like shaking right now. I really want this freaking truck. You guys probably think I'm crazy for wanting this piece of garbage truck, but I really want this thing. I've, I've, I'm invested now, I like it. Come on, let me get this truck, okay? We're up, we're up. Bid. Okay. Bid. Bid again. Let me get this truck, man. Let me get it, man. Come on. Just let me get it. Just let me get it. I'm fine with 600. I'm fine with 600. Please. Winning. We're winning. Please, this bonus time nonsense. Just end, just end. Please, just end. Please, please, please. So stupid, this damn bid. 650, 650, come on. Just end, just end.
We got our truck, boys. Let's go. All right, guys, good morning. I gotta be kind of quick with this. We got a U-Haul, we're about to head to South Miami. It's about an hour and a half from us to go pick up the truck. So uh, I'll show you guys. Alrighty guys, we got to Coport. We're about 10 minutes from getting the vehicle. We already checked in, but look at this. There's just forklifts in the cars on this thing. It's insane. <laughs> Oof, look at that. There she is guys, she's coming over there. Check it out. Spare tire, all right. <laughs> Yeah. in the door, I knew about that. So it's a water bottle, somebody stuffed a oh, water bottle, yeah. Whatever. Tow package looks fine. doesn't look bad at all I just checked for the bumper no bumper I knew about that too I saw it in the pictures it's got keys on it I saw it doesn't smell like smoke all right guys so we got the trailblazer on the trailer everything looks good uh, sorry I didn't record too much of Copart, but now it's time to get home and we'll see if this bad boy runs. All right guys, so we're back home from Copart. It was about a three hour drive, about an hour and a half there, hour and a half back. Um, and with Miami traffic, you guys know how it is. If you guys are from South Florida, it's Miami traffic's brutal. But the truck is home. So we got the truck guys. So really, really sick, it's cool. Um, it is missing the front bumper cover, but I actually like it without that. So what we're gonna do guys, is we're gonna take this dent out of the, the bumper because it was in like some sort of fender bender. We're gonna take the dent out of the bumper and I think we're gonna leave it as is. I think it looks really sporty. Um, and in future videos, we're gonna do like a chrome delete up here and you know, we'll plastic dip this, you know, we'll clean the headlights. We'll do a little bit of a restoration. Um, so over here guys is this side of the Trailblazer. So it is a 2002 Chevy Trailblazer. You guys already saw that from the auction. But seeing it in person guys, I mean, the tread on these tires is fantastic. We got great looking rims, no corrosion, um, no like minimal scratches. It looks like this car is very well maintained. Um, we actually got two keys with the vehicle as well. So here's our two keys. And coming over here guys, the back of your gas cap over here. And um, it looks like it was tinted taillights. So everything looks nice. So back here, and this is the main reason why I wanted this truck guys, or why I needed a truck in general. So you guys know I do have a 2021 Honda Civic um, hatchback, but I also do have boats. I work on boats and I need to tow boats. So I love sports cars and everything else, or sports cars, um, but I also need the functionality of a truck with my kayaks, my fishing, my, my boat. So I needed a truck and I didn't want to get rid of my car. So we bought this auction car. So we have the hitch on here. Um, this is my hitch, but the trailer package is already assembled. Everything's there. Um, 
We also do have a roof rack on the top, which is very, very cool. I mean, this truck looks like it's in great, fantastic shape. I mean, there's a couple of dings and scratches here and there, but the main damage was on the front, guys. Um, right here in the quarter panel, we have a little bit of damage right here, but I mean, it's I'm not really too worried about it, guys. I mean, it's, it's not really too bad. Um, on this panel right here, a little bit of damage. And then right over here, guys, is the, another main part of the vehicle damage is these dings in the door. Um, and the doors took a beating, but I mean, it's really not the end of the world. I mean, like I said, guys, this truck is really just going to be used for towing boats. Like if I find another boat that I'm going to go buy for the project boat, um, I can use this truck to go get it, you know? So it's not my daily driver. It's just literally just a work truck. So if I'm working and I need a truck's functionality, here it is. But tires look to be in great condition. I mean, everything looks great. So I guess let's see if she starts right up. So the vehicle was listed as a run and drive, but I mean, to have the battery even charged too, that's insane. Here, let's come over in this side. We'll take a look at the interior. So we do have power locks, guys. Um, over here, guys, the interior cloth was very well taken care of. I mean, as you guys can see, we got our glove box right here. And another really cool thing, guys, was that um, we have a touchscreen radio. Whoever owned this car uh, put an aftermarket touchscreen radio, which is sick. Uh, I wonder if the AC works. No way. That's blowing cold air. Oh my, that's insane. It's blowing cold air, guys. On my $650 truck. No way. That's insane. Wow. Glove compartment right here. I mean, interior looks like really good. No, seats aren't shredded at all. Like they're, they feel really good. I need to put an air freshener in here, but other than that. So back here, guys. Um, here's the back side. There is air vents back there and everything else. I mean, the interior looks nice and clean. I mean, whoever owned this car before me, like, really took really good care of this thing. Um, so, yeah, I mean, let's check out the trunk, and then that'll pretty much do it, guys. I mean, so far, I mean, this truck is looking like a score. So back here, guys, um, the trunk opens up with the little button right here. This glass part comes up. Unfortunately, the hydraulics don't work, but, you know, I have all this trunk space, which is nice and I can put the seats down. So I have plenty of space. So if I need parts, you know, anything that I need, I can just toss right back here. Okay, now let's see about the trunk. The trunk hydraulics do work though. So I have plenty of space. It actually does come with a sunshade too. So if I ever have anything in here that I don't want people to see, I could always have that uh, come up, which is also a really nice option. Seats go down, so I'm gonna have plenty of space and just a bunch of storage, guys. I mean, it really doesn't get much better than this. This truck was $650. I mean, this is this is insane. I mean, taillights are perfect. I mean, the little tinted taillights, it's nice and a little sporty. And uh, yeah, guys, power locks work, which is insane. I believe the power windows work too. Let's go ahead and see. Wow, automatic power windows. Let's see. Power windows work in this thing. That's actually insane, guys. Let me show you guys the dash. So as you guys can see on the dash, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but the 176,570 miles on this uh, beautiful truck. I mean, all the gauges look to be perfectly fine. The only light that's on is my e-brake light. I just have that so I don't roll down, but no lights on this thing, guys. I mean blowing freaking cold ac we got a touch screen radio in here aftermarket i mean I, i'm amazed i'm absolutely amazed and i believe i already did it the windshield wipers work which is insane it's got windshield wiper hood i already cleaned the back window back there windshield wipers work i'm actually just amazed guys i mean i got a truck for 650 dollars like it's insane granted fees and everything else like that was a lot more I had to rent a U-Haul, which the U-Haul cost me like 250 bucks. I mean, there was extra costs, extra cost that was associated with the truck, but the winning bid was $650. So I don't want to get that twisted. I, this truck wasn't 
I don't want to get that twisted, guys. This truck wasn't just $650. There was a lot of fees associated with it. There was the U-Haul, um, which was another $250, and, and everything else. So there was extra costs associated with it, but the winning bid on this truck was $650. So that's why I've been calling it the $650 truck. But anyway, guys, I mean, this truck's looking like a win. I mean, this thing is freaking sweet. I mean, lights work. I mean, this is, this is actually insane, guys. It's blowing cold air, so... <laughs> This is this was a big gamble. I mean, you know, it's it was a commitment to you know drive all the way down to Miami and everything else. But I mean, this truck is looking like it's legit, and it's gonna be able to do the job for me. So I'm I'm very pleased with that, guys. So I'm gonna kind of make this into a little series, guys, with the Copart car. I'm gonna call this the the budget Copart truck build. So in the next video, guys, we're gonna go ahead and take it on a test drive, um, and then we're gonna do some mods to this car. I'm not gonna say well. We're gonna do, do a chrome delete on the car and we're also gonna make it look a little better. So if you guys like this video and you wanna see more about this truck and you wanna see more about me kind of fixing it a little bit and you know, kind of making it look a little bit better, then uh, definitely, definitely subscribe to the channel, guys. Leave a like on the video, comment down below with any questions or anything else like that you guys have. And um, yeah, please follow me along for this journey. I do a bunch of boat videos, everything else. And um, only more to come in the future now that I can tow my own stuff, which is awesome. So anyway, guys, um, and hey, by the way, one more thing. If this video gets to 100 likes. If this video gets 100 likes, guys, not that hard to do. 100 likes. I will put running boards and we'll lift this truck. Running boards and lift the truck, guys. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody wants to see that. So. Go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel, guys. Leave a like, please. It helps out the video. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you so much, guys. One of a kind out. We'll see you in the next one.